All right, let's bring back in Devin Ryan. He is Director of Financial Tech Research at JMP Securities, a citizen's company. Um, Devin, thanks for bearing with us there and glad we got you back. So um, I had just asked you what Coinbase has done to sort of right the ship here and make it well poised, perhaps, to take advantage of any crypto rebounds. What do you think? Yeah, so it's really a couple of things. Uh, one, they uh, got a lot leaner and we've been arguing they need to get their cash burned down, and uh, they announced a 25% uh, expense reduction. Um, that, that's a huge deal to be in a position where they can weather really any environment. And so they announced that about three weeks ago. Um, and then the other things are a little bit outside of their control. You know, you just need crisis to recover and volumes to recover. And what's been really encouraging to us is the fact that, uh, Julie, as you mentioned in the lead in, you know, market cap and crypto is up like 30% over the last three weeks. Um, Coinbase's volumes have followed that. So what that means is that people um, really didn't leave the market altogether. They just moved to the sidelines. And now that prices are moving back up, engagement's um, there. And, and Coinbase is seeing about $2 billion of volume a day uh, in trading. That compares about less than $1.6 billion in the fourth quarter. So they're seeing actually a nice bump up there. And that's driving much better revenues. So in that stabilization story, doesn't there still kind of have this larger component, isn't there this larger component still of regulation and what regulation comes forward to really thrust any type of confidence into the space? Yeah, so regulation is uh, obviously a big question mark. You know, our view has been that, um, you know, really crypto is a, 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 I think an industry where um, both the, the left and the right um, have views and, and can come together here and regulators ultimately in our opinion, are not going to crush industry, but they do need to give uh, better rules of the road for the industry to operate. And so I actually think that is coming and that's going to add clarity and be a good thing for firms like Coinbase. You know, the uncertainty is worse than having certainty. And so I do think we're moving closer to that. That'll be a good thing. But ultimately, you know, the company does need to be in a position where cash burn is lower and they can operate and weather any cycle. And I think they're now in a much better position uh, post these recent cuts to do that. Do you see them having to cut again? Um, so I think just to give you some context here, so at, at the current volumes that we're tracking in the industry, about $2 billion a day, as I mentioned, they're actually operating at about cash break even at that level. So um, you know, this is enough to sustain them. They have $5.6 billion of liquidity. Um, I, I think the, the really the question would be, is there another exogenous event that happens that drives volumes way back down below kind of what we're all modeling. And, and that could be a scenario where they could cut again. Um, they've got levers to do it. So um, we're very pleased with their willingness to, I think, get leaner. And that's something we've argued they've needed to do. So they're in a good position from here. Their cash flow break even. You'd really need to see a pretty material step back in volumes from here to, to justify that. And so given the contagion events that have already taken place to this point, how does that shift some of the sentiment even around some of the offerings that Coinbase does have in, in even storage and uh, storage or staking? How has that kind of rattled those businesses individually? Yeah, so again, I was talking about a report, you know, that we put out three weeks ago, crypto needs to get serious. And the whole point of that is that you know, there really needs to be projects and offerings in the space that have real utility versus, I think, some of the hype and, and in some cases, even fraud that we've seen um, over the past couple of years here. And so, you know, Coinbase is a leader in the space. They're going to do things the right way. And, and I think this is an environment, you know, I covered financials through the financial crisis uh, and, and the good firms that were doing things the right way actually gained market share on the other side of that. I think Coinbase is going to be a firm like that on the other side of, of this environment. But, you know, really the, the crypto offerings themselves and the projects, you need to see real utility come through. And we highlighted in that report 70 projects that are, you know, boring healthcare and logistics and transportation, you know, not, not the hype um, projects or, or meme uh, projects that have gotten a lot of attention in the market. We think that's going to be healthy uh, for this whole space, and we need to progress there over the next couple of years. Bitcoin as boring. Uh, goal to reach for, I guess. <laughs> Thanks so much, Devin. Good to see you. Devin Ryan Thank of you. JMP Securities, a citizen's company. Appreciate it.